Yes, so thank you. I'm, uh, so I'm Ludovic Dubast. Uh, I'm going to talk about displaying other application data in a wiki and other types of integration. Uh, and so uh, first, uh, who am I? So I'm a creator of XWiki. I'm running XWiki SIS. We're a company of 40 people uh, working on open source full time. I'm an open source contributor and also a promoter. Uh, XWiki SIS also works on CryptPad, which is another software open source software that you can check out. Uh, we had a presentation before about it. Um, and uh, so we've been working full time on open source for 15 years now. And uh, so I've personally worked on many XWiki projects. So I passed the development of the core XWiki software to a, a team. And so I'm, uh, but I'm getting involved more in the user, in the client using, uh, or the users using XWiki. And uh, I'm working on, uh, on uh, trying to have open source a bit everywhere, either in our company or, or also personally. And so that's not so simple, and uh, I'm working on it. Um, so what is actually XWiki? So XWiki is a professional wiki. The X in XWiki means extended. So it's an extended wiki. Uh, it has many advanced features for content editing. Uh, it also, and one of the key things is that it integrates a scripting language and a method to structure data. Uh, and it has many macros. So I won't go too much in the, in the structuration of data in XWiki. Uh, actually, there is a presentation by Anka uh, in, uh, in an hour, I think, that will talk more about the, uh, uh, the, uh, about the engine and, and everything it, it can do. But so in XWiki, you have the ability to structure data and create like databases uh, that you can then uh, talk to using a scripting language. Uh, here, I will more talk about how we can integrate other tools. So we have also a system to do macros. So when we're in the WYSIWYG, we can insert macros. I'll show that in some demos. So actually, why talk about integrations? Well, the thing is, everybody uses lots of tools, uh, whether on the internet or or in our company, we have uh, tons of different tools. And so uh, when we look at it, information it, it can come from many places and have also different forms. So um, the goal of XWiki is to help people manage information and organize information. And so we provide a lot of tools to manage the information that we put in XWiki, but there is no reason not to be interested also to manage information that is outside the wiki and also information that would be in formats uh, that are more complex than the standard features of the wiki. So text or, or structured data that are standard features of XWiki. Uh, we want to also display data that could have different ways to be displayed. Uh, and so wikis are really great to organize content. This is why it's really interesting uh, to try to see how, how we can integrate data from outside. Uh, and another aspect is that if you actually, when you have information in many places, one of the difficulties that, that uh, happen is that it's hard for people to understand that information. So, I mean, let's say we have a link where there is some statistics. The problem is that there is a statistics, but there is no explanation about the statistics. And the wikis are great places to put explanation. So if we bring the information, the statistical information from the other tool inside the wiki, we can actually explain the information uh, uh, next to the, the statistics. So uh, now, how, how do we make integrations in XWiki? So we can either use existing macros and extensions. We can embed HTML. We can embed JavaScript tools. Uh, we can write our own scripts to call local or remote APIs. Uh, we can write our own macros. And we can do advanced integration using listeners. So I'll try to show a bit of everything. So first, using existing macros and extensions. So for example, GR macros, video macros, diagrams, Kanban, U-Bot, or Elasticsearch. So we have a bunch of macros in XWiki. So I'll, I'll show some of them. So for example, if I go here, up, up, up. It's actually not here. Up. So this is an, an XWiki instance on my computer. And um, if I, uh, up, up, up. I will go to Jira, for example. So here, I can show a ah, good uh, ah, demo effect. Superb. The I lost the internet. Good. You can see the wonderful error in the Yeah, so 
Jira is not on my computer, so no, fail. Nice, good failure. So that's going to be tough, so not everything will work in my demos. Try again. So use my, use my internet and you can think it's better. T'as pris? T'as quoi? Sputnik. Sputnik, where is Sputnik? It's not yet. It's H. No. Non, c'est pas ça, c'est euh, surtout que j'ai pas le temps. Et C'est quoi Try again. I should have tested white before. Aha, might work, yes. Okay, so if we can talk to the Jira server, so we have Jira macros, we can show we can show the tasks that are done or not done, we can show them at lists, uh, we can make a Jira query actually. So if I look at the code uh, in XWiki, we have a Jira macro and we can, uh, we can use that macro to display data. So that's uh, one example. Um, we can also have, so actually, uh, this is a, a macro that we use internally at XWiki, it's not published. Uh, we can actually even do charts, so it takes a bit more time. Let's hope it's fast enough. Tat tat tat. No, doesn't want to come. Yeah, I should have ch tested how long it took to run the macros. So this is live data, as you can see, uh, because it's really Im interesting data. Um, so. Yeah, so here we can see a graph of the XWiki development cycle, version 10, who has, uh, who has done what? So we can, run, we can make a chart directly from XWiki with data coming from Jira. So potentially you can do the same thing, like running, calling a database, getting data, and then giving it to a chart in XWiki that would graph the chart. Here, another graph, another type of graph that you can do. Um, so we, we have a bunch of macros like that. Uh, for example, here, a matrix macro, which actually just allows to embed the chat uh, in, in a page. So I took a chat room, and if it loads, so it loads on the internet again, because this is running our, our own matrix server here, and it will show a matrix chat live uh, on the internet that I created for this. So I will pass a bit on this, uh, on these macros. Uh, let's go to the next type of example. In the meantime, it might load. Hop. Oops. Uh, no, it's here. Sorry. I need to speed up now. OK. Um, so um, another type of things, we can embed HTML. So the matrix chat is, a, is an example. Uh, but I can also embed a PeerTube video or even a, a CryptPad video. Actually, this document here, this CryptPad, uh, is actually coming from there. It's actually I put it here directly inside the wiki page, and I put a link, view full screen, so I can run the presentation directly. So this is a CryptPad presentation that is on the CryptPad server and is embedded on my page. Actually, if I look at the code. This is just done with a bit of iframe HTML embedding. So embedding HTML and other tools. We can do that with PeerTube here. That's another example of integration. I can show a video. That's actually a FOSDEM presentation from last year. And I can run that presentation, that video directly. So I can do that type of things. Now, oops, I need to go back to my presentation now. And the next step is, OK, I can embed HTML. That's, in, that's fairly easy. Now, can I embed actually JavaScript code? So up. and if I go back here, I have, by the way, my FOSDEM, my FOSDEM demo chat embedded in my page. Um, 
So now JavaScript embedding. So actually, here I want to show. Hop. So this is actually an embedding of a graph with JavaScript library. Here is the code. Here I have my code. This is defining my graph. And this is the JavaScript code, the JavaScript library that is transforming this to a graph with JavaScript embedding. So in XWiki, we can embed some JavaScript here, just like that. Uh, we can run JavaScript code and make it uh, transform some data. So I transform this data into JavaScript. Uh, now, the thing is, we actually, here, we have the same, exactly the same thing, but the difference is that instead of running JavaScript code from the internet, it's actually running JavaScript code that, are, that is actually installed in XWiki. So these are APIs in XWiki, which allows to talk to JavaScript modules that we have installed with the XWiki extension manager. So XWiki can install extensions, and we can actually install any Maven extension from the Maven repository. And uh, this is a library, VisGS, the library that we can get from the uh, Maven repository. So it's JavaScript code in a zip file, and we install it. And when it's installed, we can use it. So here, I don't need the internet anymore for that, uh, uh, that viewing. And so what is interesting is that once I did that embedding, I can actually make a macro. So here, I've transformed my code to a macro. And now, this Java, the same code that was before is executed by the macro. And I have a macro. I can put any graph. And I can have a, uh, a different view here. Up and any graph with view. And we can also do this, for example, with a timeline. So here, this is actually JavaScript code, which allows to, to view timelines. So actually, we can even move the, them, because it's editable. These, this JavaScript allows to edit. And uh, so the tool doesn't save. So it cannot save right now, but we could improve it so that it would save the result of, that, of this configuration on the JavaScript module inside inside XWiki uh, in, instead of just uh, this is the one that we're loading. So the, this is JSON here. And then the JavaScript code uh, is after that to load the thing. So we can tr this type of things we can transform to macros inside XWiki so that it would display. Um, go back to the presentation. Um, so now writing script with uh, local APIs. So I wanted to show another type of integration. Here, I have uh, some ASCII art. So this is actually Java code. So here, I, this code here, I installed uh, from the extension repository of XWiki. I installed the Figlet Java module in XWiki, just with the administration. And then I could use some Groovy to actually uh, convert this to uh, a figlet, so to a, to a little uh, display here. So I can actually say it's cool. Hop. And I have uh, changed my thing. Same thing, we can transform this to a macro. Hop. FOSDEM is really cool and can display. So I wanted to point out that most of these things here oops, have been done uh, pretty quickly. So. Uh, taking a Java module and inserting in XWiki. Um, another example is working with an API, so embedding data from outside. So here, I go back, and now I have a demo with NASA. Hop. So I need the internet for this, and hop, I have a picture, the astronomy picture of the day, and with the explanation. So I can actually hop code it, look at this. And this is uh, basically a bit of code, a bit of code to display, to call the NASA API to get a picture and uh, display it in XWiki. So not only I can actually get the picture of the day, but I can actually get the one from yesterday, hop, or the one from the day before. And the day before. It's a rabbit hole. Don't go on it, please. Yeah. 
This one is very nice. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're, they're pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why you keep on eating previous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, up, up, up. Uh, so uh, actually we can do that in JavaScript, we can also do that in Velocity. So the, actually I have both in my demo. I have a JavaScript version, up, and this is the JavaScript version of the API. So this one also has next, previous, actually previous, up, the same thing. But it's implemented in JavaScript instead of being implemented in uh, server side. So you can do both. Um, so I'm going to speed up a bit because I have a bit more. It's not finished of things what we do. We can write our own macros. So actually, I showed that. I want to very quickly show how you actually do that. Uh, so here, if I take my macro, my graph with macro, uh, this is what I had to do to write the macro. Hop. I had to move this code. Uh, to an XWiki object, and then it's a macro in XWiki uh, available everywhere. So it was actually just moving the code in a specific area in XWiki, and we have a macro that's available to everybody. You can do that as an admin, of course, not as a, as a standard user. So I move the code, and here this is how I get the parameters that I use in my macro instead of actually passing the data right away. Uh, um, so uh, and then, uh, okay, now I'm going to a bit more advanced thing. So one of the things I prepared for this demo is an integration of XWiki with Elasticsearch. And so what, we, what I did is I created an application in XWiki, which is a database of countries. So here I have 266 first countries, so I didn't type it myself. I imported it from a World Bank data. So I created some CSV files. Uh, using the World Bank service, I imported the data in XWiki. So I imported the, the list of the countries, and I imported uh, the list of uh, the data of every year. So for example, if I say France here, I can see the data for France for every year, population, GDP, uh, GDP per capita, et cetera, et cetera. And so what is interesting is that if I, if I go to countries now, Actually, so not only I imported the data, but I wrote a listener that is actually pushing the data, storing it in XWiki, and pushing the data to an Elasticsearch instance. So who knows Elasticsearch here? Yeah. So it's pushing the data using Elasticsearch. It was not a lot of code to do that, uh, to push the data. And now, and then in Elasticsearch, I created some graphs. And this is a graph from Elasticsearch that is embedded in the wiki. And it shows all the indicators for France that are stored in my, in my wiki and pushed to Elasticsearch. So this graph was made in, in Elasticsearch. So actually here, this is the Kibana instance. And I can actually view the data from the wiki. So for example, here I can see the GDP per country, for example, or things like that in, in Elasticsearch. And when I do a, when I, these graphs that I did, I used the, copy, the, the, the code of the graph and embedded it in XWiki. So, up. And the last thing I did is here you have a dashboard, World Bank dashboard, which contains a graph of every country here, of, of everything. So you can see the GDP of the United States going very high. And uh, actually, you can see in XWiki here, my dashboard embedded in XWiki it's here. And so now if I go to show you that it's actually real, up, I can sh take that data here, and I can also go here up, and take France data. Up. And so here you can see my, my graph that should load. So here you can see some data here that is 31, okay? Everybody sees its value is 31, okay? Yeah, make it go up because okay. down is not No, actually it needs to go down no? to be better. It? It's a Gini, it's an inequality index. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's better when it's down. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends uh, what make you believe. Uh, make it zero. So here I, I save my page in the wiki. And actually, up, I can reload the page now. 
Ah, la, la. And that was, yeah. oh, and it's 25. Magic. So the data was pushed to Elasticsearch and the graph was uh, uh, put up to date. So actually here uh, we can actually, I can edit and I can change if I want to see another country instead, I can do that. And yeah, I can show another country directly from the wiki. That's it for demos of integration in this <laughs>